1792 BC, the greatest ruler of Babylon's Amorite dynasty, Hammurabi, came to the throne as its sixth king. Initially, he didn't seem to be interested in military campaigns. He ruled for 43 years. And starting in his 30th year, he gets it into his head to emulate Sargon to build himself an empire. He grew from his conquests, but his greatness came from his concern with justice. Toward the end of his reign, he erected several monuments in his cities. The largest popularity of hostage taking for ransom. He's going to set up laws that will protect them, not laws that will terrify them and force them into submission. Hammurabi's fame grew from his conquests, but his greatness came from his concern with justice. Toward the end of his reign, he erected several monuments in his cities. The largest one to remain intact is a stone slab known today as the Hammurabi Stele, a collection of 282 legal verdicts. They're written in a wedge-shaped script called cuneiform, the earliest known writing developed in Sumer at the end of the fourth millennium. On the other hand, what we find in the Hammurabi Code is the eye for an eye, tooth for a tooth passages that totally parallel the biblical notion of that. Hammurabi's justice was not necessarily equitable. Rights varied based on an individual's status as a landowning free citizen, a civil servant, or a slave. <laughs> 